Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. So today I'm gonna to show you how to make a 3D letter. So it's not gonna be this whole thing. <laughs> I wanna show you just the basics. So how do you fold it? How do you glue it or tape it? Um, I am trying something new today. I'm gonna to use tape. I mean, as you guys, if you follow me, you know that I prefer using tape over glue. And I always use that for my off the mat characters that are behind me. Um, I find that it's just easier to control. The glue worked out fine. This is this was done with um, Barely Arts glue, which I love. Don't get me wrong, I love that glue. I love the precision tip. Um, I just got glue everywhere. I'm not a good glue person. So I'm gonna try to do it with tape today. Um, that's the only thing, I'm gonna show you the basics. I'm gonna give you some tips that I learned from doing this one. So I do, I love this. I, I This is gonna be something that I'm gonna be doing a lot. So. Um, I do a lot of cake toppers and I do a lot of off the mat tutorials. I think I'm going to be adding 3D letters because it was a lot of fun and I feel like we could do so much with it. Like whether it's seasons, birthdays, parties in general, there's so many things that you could do with numbers and letters or even, you know, spell out the word. So, all right, let's get started. Um, I cut this out. So the letter C, some letters are more obvious than others, right? Um, but C... I find that um, I want to tape this down so that I know which side is up and which side is down and front and back. So you always have to have the um, the front and back so that your your box works both ways. And this is pretty sturdy. So this original one is 65 pound cardstock. I'm using 110 pound cardstock today just to see if I can feel the difference. Um, but like I said, this is 65 pound cardstock. I did add some pennies to the bottom, but what's funny is because originally when I did this, um, it was hard for me to tell which side is up and down. So I actually, I'm pretty sure I put the pennies on the top because what happened was originally it was supposed to be this way. This was supposed to be the front, but it got so, I just didn't like the way it, it looked. So I flipped it around and made this the front. So then the t the bottom became the top, and so the pennies are on top, so it, that's not really what's making it sturdy. It's just sturdy in general. So you can see it's, it's gonna sit up. Um, so as long as you're not outside. But anyway, let's do this one. Um, I'm gonna use my favorite double-sided tape. So let's flip this over, and I think you can tell, yeah. So these are Christmas trees or pine trees, I guess fir trees. <laughs> I'm really bad at that stuff. Um, anyway, so there's going to be a top side and a bottom, right? So I purposely picked this design so that we can easily tell which side is which. Um, you can also use tape right here if you don't want to use double-sided tape. All right. I do have a tutorial for design space to show you how to make it as big as possible without slicing. Um, but I like this project in general because this whole thing was three sheets of 12 by 12 paper. So overall, it's, you know, it's, it doesn't take a lot to make this. So this is, let's see how big this is. Um, it's seven inches high and five inches wide. So it's pretty sizable. It's not quite as big as this one, but it all fit on one piece of paper. Oh, and actually because I wanted to try 11, um, 110 pound cardstock. This is actually eight and a half by 11 paper. That's why it's a little bit smaller than this. So it's three sheets of eight and a half by 11 paper. Um, on this one, I'm gonna use double-sided double tape. Um, I guess maybe I won't because I can't find it. <laughs> All right, so let's flip this over. Let's get this down. And you, I don't know if you caught that. So if you lay it down gently, you still have room to move it before um, it's permanent. So, all right. This is the front because the trees are facing that way. So this is the back, it goes like this. So now we know, right? Let's start folding these, these things. Um, they have little markers. So I bought this on Etsy. 
it was recommended to me that this designer makes great files and so far I would totally agree with it like everything has been super easy but she also tells you where the like she has this cut out but it's not cut out on the letter it's cut out in the file so in design space you can see where this goes but I would say for most letters you're going to know which way is which because you have this this is the longest piece right it has to be either this or this right and then the way you can tell is the next two pieces so this long piece is followed by a short piece by an even shorter piece it's got to be this long short shorter right so here we go so this is basically like this right so you can kind of sort of tell where things go it has to be like this and then it goes down like this So that's this piece, which actually goes like this, right? So let's flip it over because this is the front side. I recommend doing the front side first because it's going to give you, okay, so now I'm turned around. Is it this way? <laughs> I am so bad. No. So let me think about this. It goes like this. Yeah. Yeah. And I tutor math, but spatial um is not my thing okay so it goes like that <laughs> so then that means this piece goes out here yeah okay so let's start folding it just so that we can kind of see where we are and these dotted lines they're actually cut lines okay so it's dotted cut lines um we can just leave it like that so let's do this so you can see that's the edge of this, right? And then this one's gonna go here, and then this is our back side. It's gonna go up like this, okay? So it's pretty easy, right? So you just wanna fold this. We're putting the front side down first because the by doing the front side first, we have more room to work with it and to make it more perfect because we're laying things down, we have gravity, um, on our side as well as an open space to give us like hand you know space to put our hands down and fix things so we want to be able to do the the face front front facing <laughs> front facing letter first because everything else we can hide in the back and no one's really going to see so that's what you want to do all right so let's do this um all right so it goes like this And not that we need to make sure, but that's how it works. All right, so we confirmed we have all our pieces and it goes like that. So let's tape this sucker down. So because I wanna use my glue tape, okay, so I'm going to leave that there. I'm going to tape this edge down, okay? So let me grab a scratch piece of paper, which I should have done before. Okay. All right, here we go. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> Let's do this. Okay, and I knew it was running low. I love this. It's Tombow, the mono permanent adhesive. You just press the two tabs on the inside and this comes out or this comes out. This is what's being replaced. Here's your replacement. You just pull out this little thing and then there's really only one way to put it in. So you punch it in and then you have a brand new one. So I do love this. All right. So let's see. Okay. So I haven't folded it or anything. Now I'm going to fold it. And I didn't fold it in only because I wanted to be able to do the tape in one straight line. So maybe fold it next time. We'll do it on the next one. We'll fold it, but then unfold it to tape it down. <laughs> okay. So I'm just going to scooch this over to give me space, but I know where everything goes. And I'm gonna put this down so you can see both 
both sides. You just want to make sure it lines up. All right, that looks really good. So now I'm going to push it down. Then I'm going to line this side up. Push that down. Line this up. Push this down. And then line this one up. All right, so that was not bad, right? But that's because we don't have the top down and we have a lot of space to work with. So I'm just creasing it to make sure that my tape is on there good. Okay, so this is the way it is. Um, let's do our next big piece like this down, okay? So that means we wanna tape this side. So let's push up a little bit so it's not so um, stiff. So later when the glue, the tape is on there, it's a little bit easier to bend it. Okay. All right, here we go. So let's put this side down. Let's run our tape. Let's do the big piece first. <laughs> like, wait a minute. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I'm gonna turn this so it's easier for me. Okay, I'm lining this piece up first, the, the big piece. So I'm going to, actually it's really hard to do that one first. Let's do this, this little piece out here first. So I'm going to push that down, then I'm going to line this piece up. That looks pretty good. Push this one in. Push all your tape pieces in. All right. And then let's line up the rest of this. You can see that um, all the sheets are sticking up like really crisp corners and lines. So I like it a lot. Yeah, my fingers are barely tall enough to get in there. <laughs> all right, so far so good I think. And here's the front side and the front side's looking really, really good. Let's fold this guy in. And we can always glue this afterwards. So once we get in here, we can stick our glue in if we really need to, but this feels really um, steady. All right, so this is what we have left. Let's just make sure we have the right pieces in where they're supposed to be because I'm not really good at this. <laughs> um, does that look right? Yeah. Okay, so that means we're gonna be taping this side in. Okay, so let's fold these up. down. Let's get tape on this side. Okay, and then I'm just going to fold it in because that's where the tape is going to hit. All right, so let's do this side first. And I'm going to turn it so I can see it better.
turn it and let's get all the edges down before and then we can um we'll push down at the end right now we're just getting it in get maybe just my glue stick and take the cap and kind of just press down to make sure that my glue my tape is getting pressed down a little bit better okay now do you see let's see this tab right here there's a little tab that needs to be taped to this Okay, I will use glue dots for that. And I have some glue dots, oh, here we go. Um, and the way I'm gonna apply them is I'm going to use this tool. They're like my little tweezers. I'm gonna grab a glue dot and I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna put two, I'm gonna put One down towards the bottom and then one towards the top. I'm going to flip it around so I think you can see it. So it's this piece right here. So there's a glue right here and a glue dot right here. And then now I'm going to press it against this piece. Okay, so and then there's two more pieces of that. There is one right here, so you can see it's sticking out, and then there's one right here. So same thing. And this one I didn't I didn't fold yet. Okay. Um okay. So I'm gonna get my glue dots, same thing. Two per tab. So I'm gonna grab it. I get it? Yep. Okay, that's one. Let's do the top. Okay. And then I'm gonna hold it and press it over. And I know, there. All right, that's two down, one more to go. We just have this one right here. Okay, and then this one's in, so I'm just gonna hold it like this and I'm gonna press against the two. Okay, and here's our, our top side. I think it looks really, really good. So here's our bottom side. Let's fold down all the tabs. And then we'll push them back up. <laughs> and then this time, this will be easy. We're just laying our C on top of it. Now on this side, because I can't do the tape runner on it, I mean, I feel like we're gonna collapse our, our 3D box if we do that. Um, I'm tempted to either use glue or glue dots. Um, So see, all we're gonna do is we need to apply some sort of adhesive on there, and then this goes right on top. Remember, this is our back side, okay? So, um, and you see how sometimes like it's not lining up perfectly? That's why I want you to do your um, front facing side first, because we're gonna need to squeeze that in to make this work a little bit. It's not as pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna flip this up a little bit so that when we put our glue down, I'm gonna do glue just because I don't have 
And hopefully this is still. All right, I think this is gonna work. I poked it through. Okay, so this is art glitter glue, which I also love. All right, we're just going to, if it comes out, let me see if I can squeeze it out. See, this is what I don't like about glue. Now these two fingers are sticky. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is gonna kill me. Okay. You wanna get it on all your sides. Now what ended up happening was when I did my first one, um, I did use glue, like I would, like I said earlier, um, but some pieces didn't st didn't stick as well, and I ended up just squeezing in some glue dots afterwards. So it's all fixable. You just want it clean. That's all. Okay, so let's hold this down. Let's get this together. And I sort of want to do this fast because, all right, I think all my holes are in, I pushed it in. I wanna give it some weight so that it has that to, to stay down and stiff, and that's it. So I'm gonna give it a couple seconds, I'll talk to you about materials. So again, that was 110 pound paper. That was, I would say, a little bit easier to work with than the 65 pound, but that's, not, I don't know if it's a fair comparison because this was my first one, um, and I used glue. This was way easier with using glue on just the back side. So let me put this back down. So I'm gonna try it again. All right, I'm gonna flip it over. This side looks pretty good. Okay, so this is our back side. This is our front side. And then now you can put snowflakes on there. You can put um, holiday somewhere, like, you know, Fancy writing, I love it. Um, you need to go into Inkscape though to create this little C on the inside. If you want just a regular C to go on top, I would recommend that. So that way you can hide any flaws, you just have one more C on. But I do think it looks better with this like, um, with this little inside, I don't know what you call an offset that's inside. But anyway, <laughs> I think it looks nicer that way. I'm gonna show you a couple other styles though um, coming up. All right, I hope you love it and I hope you follow me for the next few because um, I think we're gonna do quite a few of these. All right, comments, questions, please let me know and any special requests, post them here and then email me at anan at theuselesscrafter.com. All right, thanks guys, bye.